Peace, yo. This is Lord Supreme, yo. Um, just chilling right now, relaxing, you know, uh, just kicking back. But um, I wanted to add on to part two about Facebook and Twitter ruining relationships. And the reason why I wanted to add on to that was because of the simple fact that a lot of people don't really understand that Facebook and Twitter was not actually for the purpose that it serves right now. You know what I'm saying? It was actually for finding long lost friends, family. You know, things of that nature. That's what Facebook was originally for. Now it's just gotten out of hand and just a whole bunch of other stuff. Like people be posting videos of people getting beat up, getting shot, stabbed, killed. And, you know, unnecessary things on the, on the social media. The same thing with Twitter. You know, you, you deal with this social media network where everybody's tweeting back and forth, following this, following that, looking at this, looking at that. But then in reality... You end up finding yourself encapsulated and captured by that stuff, you know, enslaved to that stuff. Because now you come to the point in your life where you don't want to do anything else but just Facebook and Twitter all day. You know what I'm saying? And it comes to the point where it gets kind of tedious after a while. You know, so Facebook doesn't serve the purpose that it does not like it back then that it does now. So for you guys to be up there posting threatening messages to people, uh, disrespecting people on the internet, twittering unnecessary pictures and showing unnecessary pictures, it, that is to no avail, you know. If you're not really on there for the purpose that it's supposed to be for, then why are you on there? You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to even realize that myself. Like, I, I felt myself even being caught up in Facebook, you know what I'm saying, and Twitter. You know, some of the gods and the earth was like, yo, you on that shit all day, like, but it was true though because I found myself like, yo, it's not a problem, it's harmless. But however, you building, how are you building online when students and people at 85 are out in the streets? You feel what I'm saying? Now I'm doing this from the from the guy's point of view because, you know, a lot of people that's 85 don't really really give a fuck about what you say about Twitter and Facebook. That's the that's their shit. You know what I'm saying? They be on the Facebook flex late night, Twitter flex, all that shit. But overall, what ends up happening is that, like I said before in the first video was, if you're in a relationship and you are on that shit, that shit going to get your ass caught the fuck up. Because what's going to happen is, one day you're going to end up talking to somebody that you're not supposed to be talking to, and your girl's going to end up probably hacking your page, asking you for your password, and watching, looking at your inboxes, and then come to find out. You all screwed up and fucked up in the game now because you decided to Facebook and Twitter somebody that you wasn't supposed to. Or you decided to put a comment where you're not supposed to put it at. And now it leads to threats. Um, people want to hurt you, want to do physical justice to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that unnecessary stuff is not called for. You know, I mean, you know, I see the gods on earth on there. You know what I'm saying? Posting, you know. But they post things that are relevant, pertinent to today's time and age. You know, about killing, shootings, what can we do to prevent it? You know, they even put their little video chats on there. You know what I'm saying? To build with each other. You know, if they can't reach each other in the physical. So, overall, what I'm saying is that, yo, don't be a slave to Facebook and Twitter. You know, don't be a slave to that stuff because if that is what keeps you motivated and driven, then you got to understand that that becomes your God. You know, Facebook and Twitter becomes your God because it's controlling you. You're not controlling it. And controlling something is having discipline and moderation for it. Not just being on it every single time that you get a chance, the opportunity to, to jump on there. You know, if you're if you're on there due to the simple fact that you might not have a phone or your phone's off and you have to inbox somebody to get in contact, well, do it for that purpose. But that's just for that purpose only. You know, don't get all out of whack and start twittering and Facebook and commenting and posting because the shit gonna get your ass caught out. And I'm not even joking about that shit. That shit is so real that ask a bunch of people, a young brothers and sisters who are in relationships right now, what has Facebook done since being on there and what has Twitter done since being on there? You think about it. Really think about it. Like, is Facebook and Twitter really your life? Because that was only out for like about five years. Twitter been out for like almost three, four years. Around the time that Facebook came out. But overall, the point that I'm trying to make here is that 
Don't get enslaved to Facebook and Twitter. Because honestly, if you're a grown man or woman and you're in a relationship with that bullshit and you're on there more than your you're on there more than you paying attention to your wife and catering to your man and paying attention to the needs of the children, then that's a problem. You really need to check yourself. Do a self evaluation on that shit because that shit's ridiculous. So, you know, I just wanted to uh give you guys, you know, a add on to the first video if you didn't understand it the first time. So I trust and will that, you know, this proves a point that Facebook and Twitter is not that important. If it's that important, like I said in the first video, marry the shit. Go to the Justice of Peace and say, I want to marry Facebook. I want to marry Twitter. Because that's how you look. Thirsty and quenching for it. But that being said, peace.